the, in the middle of this ballroom. But then again, the end joke for a lot of the Sonic Boom episode is, is it really weak? It, it really is just like, I don't know what they're doing with the writing, but it just seems that with the last joke, it's like we've got, it literally is, like I said in the last episode, I think we've got, oh, we've got 10 seconds left. We need, to, we need to do something to end the episode. And it's just that, and it ends. It's just... It's that seems to be an weird. ongoing thing with them, isn't it? It's, just so, it just, it's just so disjointed on, on the it, ending. It's, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I want to throw it over to you guys to uh, give your own own thoughts. Uh, John, you have seen the episode, actually, haven't you? Obviously you came yes, I have, yes. Okay, so what were your, what were your thoughts of, of My Fair Stixie? Um, it wasn't one of the greatest episodes of the series, I would say. It's certainly not... I wouldn't call it clunker just yet, but I think that, you know, it's one of those ones that probably would have benefited from having a, a longer screen time. It's not Buster. Yeah, it's not Buster. They painted sticks in a more positive light, and that I'm glad of. Mm. What, what else did you think about the, the episode, Donny? Well, like I said earlier, it definitely went with a more creative um, route that I wasn't exactly expecting when I first heard about what this episode would be, plot-wise. And I, I'm very proud of how it went, and I'm looking really forward to seeing how the uh, they paint sticks in, late in later episodes, because the way they treated her so far, it hasn't been bad. It's been better than I expected, and this episode really did help kind of ease the like ease the concerns I had. So, well, that's really cool. glad. Yeah, I'm really glad to see how the show turned out. Even if it's it's not exactly the best episode, but it's not the worst either. I think. Yeah. Tom, I thought it was all right. I I don't know. It's just as we spoke before the episode. I think. I agree, I agree with you on your opinion of that. We still really need an episode to really introduce us to sticks. Mm. Until then, every, every episode kind of like involving her as like a centerpiece is going to be a bit, I don't know, half-hearted. Yeah, um, I would say that, I mean, it, it's notable that the sticks centered episodes are the weaker that we've seen so far. But I really do think that is just because we we have yet to be given a reason to care mm. for this character. And that's not a fault of the character, that's a fault of the writing. Because you really should, you know, if, you, if you're, as again, if you're relying on previous customer viewer knowledge of a brand for, for what you're selling and, and what you're showing... Uh, in that you're going okay we don't have to explain this because you know or you're at least familiar with enough and you've got a new character you desperately need to actually set parameters for that character that you need to that you have to do you know early on in the series and we're now at episode five and episode six doesn't do this either um and we we yet to have that with sticks all we know is that Badger, Feral, which is the first time that that was used in this episode, and is a bit crazy. And that's the entirety of the character so far, is, is that is a bit paranoid and crazy, and is a badger. I think to <laughs> yeah, reiterate on what you're saying there is, we haven't really had any introductory episode up till now. I don't no. think we're going to get one, to be honest. No. It it's so, and it's one of the things I was also saying earlier, uh, well, well when you went here, John, and I think it was just before we even started recording, is that not only do we do the, does the series need that, I am astounded that we we actually haven't had something that actually ties in with with uh, Rise of Lyrical Shattered Crystal, because there's there really should be something that I think a bit more of a stronger link and at least an episode selling the games as something that is you know you need to find out more about and that that, that same thing could then be used to um to be used as the background episode for sticks and explaining sticks's character is showing a little bit of what what happens in the game like a couple of cutscenes that you you haven't that actually don't appear in the game which sets the scene a bit more 
but uh, but no. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Sonic Boom is an alternative reality within the alternative reality. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... yeah, that's a tongue twister if I've ever heard it. Yeah, uh, because, um, and that really helps with with branding if you if you want to go that route. And I'm sure I'm sure there's nothing but clarity and good things will come of that. <laughs> idea, <laughs> and then you've got the comics as well, which presumably is there a, a reality of the reality of the reality. Well, from the comics, which I've actually got the first copy in front of me, they've just made Knuckles more stupid than he is in the ser- in the TV show. Is um, that possible? I don't know. It's... Yeah, I, I, I said, I said, I said this in the last episode that I, I honestly believe that that's just a fault of them not showing. Ian Flynn any scripts hmm. for, for that for that uh, I, just, I, I honestly think they just gave him the synopsis of the character and no actual yeah. other reference got, they've given him the design they've given designs to Archie and the synopsis of the character and to, to write stuff it, it's kind of weird but uh, so, but overall it was I, I, I think Jono nailed it on the head it wasn't a clunker but at the same time, hmm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, episode five done. Tune in next time for episode six, uh, where we'll be having an Eggman and Amy episode. And my goodness, it's a treat. Yay! Yay. Be, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and also check out the other episodes that are available on the Sonic Show channel. See you guys. There are plenty Back of soon. them. Oh yeah, Bye-bye. plenty of them. Bye. 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 Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> I can now uh, eat. I can now eat apple turnover that's on my desk. Oh. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> Marvelous. Well, well done to uh, to do that. That was a nice episode. I like that. Right. Okay. Well, I think part I of it was helped with the. Ready. I think part of it was helped by the thirty minutes we spend waiting <laughs> to get it going. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this up as an extra show at some point, John. Yeah. <laughs> behind <laughs> behind the scenes. Because. Um, it, 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 we, we, it was just us just making, just doing voices <laughs> and just being stupid. <laughs> and possibly coming up with weird alternative reality ideas of why I haven't turned up yet. Yes, actually. Uh... Actually, we were. <laughs> <laughs> so go oh, on then. Yeah. Or is this going to be, have to be something which I'm going to have to wait to see a video for? Uh-huh. It, it... I've... I, I believe I used my dark powers of Skype to try and summon you with some kind of incantation at one point. And... <laughs> did it work? Um, no, because all it did was we just then went into Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged voices for about 15 minutes. <laughs> and uh, it, it kind of descended from there, really. <laughs> I really wouldn't call it descended. I'd just say it took a more interesting... It took a unique flair to it. Because children's card games. Woo! <laughs> Basically. Poor Jamie's got into all this shit.